You want to make your cards of Power BI look even more amazing by using images and build cards like this one over here, where it looks as if the image comes out of the card? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. Let's get started. All right, now we're going to build this card over here that shows the key information about different car models. And you see how it looks as if the car comes out of the card. Now, it's all about the positioning of the image, the text, and the background. Now, here we can switch to a different car model by clicking on these little circles that you see there at the top of the card. Now, also, there is an arrow that makes it flippable if you want to which then shows even more information. You see that we enlarge the image and then it looks as if it drives to the front. All right, so let's build this. I'm gonna go to a new page and it all starts with a new card visual. So let's insert this and let's put it here in the middle. Now on this new card, I want to have the vehicle field. So I'm going to go to my data set, take the vehicle, put it here on data. Now it shows the name of the first car. All right. Right above the new card, I want to have a tile slicer. So let's deselect it and then insert a tile slicer. And let's align it right above it. And let's make sure that they have an equal width. Okay, so on that tile slicer, I also want to have the vehicle. So I'm going to take the vehicle field and drop it onto the slicer. Now we are able to switch between the different vehicles. Perfect. Now, to make it look a little bit better, let's take the slicer and let's go into format. Under slicer settings, I want to have single select. Let's force a selection. And we don't really need the title, so let's get rid of that. And here for the callout values, I'm going to decrease the font size to, let's say, 10. And then we can just resize the slicer so that we can see all of the models. And let's make it less high. And then we take our card and put it right below it and also make it a little bit wider. All right, perfect, we have our starting point. Now the next thing that I wanna do is show an image of the car on our card visual. So let's take our card and then we can go here to formatting and then here we have the images, formatting options and here we want to add an image. So let's turn it on for all of the series, that's okay. And here we can either have a fixed image or we can go for an image URL to make it dynamic. Now that's the option that I want. So let's click here on the FX button for conditional formatting where we can then choose a column or a measure that returns the URL of the image that we want. So the image of a car model. Now over here in my data set, I have one column with the image URLs. So you see over here, I call that image. Let's click on okay. And that's it, we already have an image of a car model. Now, if you go here to the data set, it's just a column with the direct link to the images in Dropbox. If you don't know how to do that or how to set it up, then check out this video over here. All right, now let's go back to the report view. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is position the car below the callout value, which is not really readable at the moment. So over here for image, we can first of all fix the size. So let's go for a size like 180 pixels, all right. And then here for the callout value, let's go there. We can make it a little bit smaller. So let's put it to 22. But we don't have the option here to show more information. Let's say we also want to have the horsepower or the car type. Well, all that information we cannot just add here on the callout value. So we are not going to use the callout value at all. All right, so I'm going to turn it off. And also the label, I want to turn off so that we only have the image. Now, where can we then add that information? Well, not here under callout values, but under reference labels. There we can add as much information as we like. So I'm going to go over here. Now we only have one series, a first vehicle, then add data. And I want to have information about the, well, first of all, vehicle. So let's start with that one. And then we can add whatever we like. So maybe we also want to have the power, so how much horsepower and the body type. All right, so we have the information that we want, but we don't really need the title of the reference label. So I'm going to turn that off for all of the labels. And then the values we can make maybe a little bit smaller. So let's put that to nine. And if you want to highlight the name of the car a little bit more, then just select that label for vehicle and then go again to value, and for example, make it bigger or bold. All right, now this starts to look good. We have the image and we have the text, but I want to have that car image below the text. Now, 
The problem is that for the reference labels, well, we have a separate area that's below the callout value. Now, we are not showing the callout value, but yeah, how can we now take that text and put it at the top and the image below it. Now, if we go over here and select all of the series for the reference labels, then you see here on the options, we have two options, below callout or right, right of callout. We don't have above callout. Would have been nice. However, hmm, unfortunately, that's not there. Now, the trick here is to go for right of callout, even though that feels counterintuitive at the beginning. And then we can take that label text and shift it to the left. Now, how does that work? Now, to make this visibly clear, let's go here to the background. Let's just apply a bit of transparency. Yeah? So let's go for 80% transparency, all right? And then I'm going to go here to callout values, layout. Now, make sure that series is set to all. Then you can click on layout. And here we have the callout size. That is how much space is visible for the reference label. Now, if I take that handle and move it to the right, you see then we have less space for the reference label. If I put it to the left, then we have more space. And if you put it all the way to the left, you see, then we can move the text above the image. And that gives us a lot of extra control. Now, of course, I don't want to see that background color for the reference label. So I'm going to go back and then here for the background, either I turn it off so we don't need to see it or put the transparency to 100% whatever you prefer. Now, what you cannot do is turn the divider off. You see, then it uh, jumps back. So the divider needs to stay, but also here, uh, we can just put 100% transparency. All right, perfect. Okay, now the next thing that I wanna do is, well, to change the background of the card so that we have that information on that darker background that I showed you at the beginning. Now, for that, we need to go to the card formatting options. And you see, here we have background, all right? Now, let's make sure it's turned on. Now, the border we don't really need. But for the background, now let's choose a different color just for a second so that you can see it. This is the background. But I don't want to have orange. So here I'm going to just increase the transparency to 100%. And instead of going for a fixed color, which is a little bit limited, I want to have a fancier design. And that design I built first in PowerPoint export it as an image and use that image as the background for a card. Now, let's go to PowerPoint for a second. And here you see, I've built a simple shape, apply some gradient, that's it. Now, what is important though, is that I added a second shape, 100% transparent, you see, to create a little bit of extra space around it, because that is where the car will partially show, all right? now. This is what I'm going to export as an image, the grouping of that main shape, as well as, well, basically a rectangle that creates some additional space around it, and which is set to 100% transparency. Okay, now let's right click, and then go here to save as picture. And here I would usually go for SVG, because then it doesn't lose any quality. All right, now let's save it. And then back in Power BI, you can go again to the background of the card, and then from here, choose the exported image as the background. Now, there it is. Now, then you still have to set the image fit to fit, and there you go. Now, the tags seem to have disappeared. However, it's just not readable because it's black and black. So, I'm going to go back to our reference labels, and then here for all of the series, we want to have the value in white. Now, the tags is readable again, and now we can just resize the card just like this. And then let's also make it a little bit less high. And then we can push the text a little bit more to the right from callout values layout, right? So over here, the callout size, we could, for example, increase to 10% so that it jumps a little bit more to the right. Now to push the text down a little bit, we can make use of padding. So if we go here to cards, and then for all of the series, we want to have a little bit of padding from the top. Now, instead of normal, I'm gonna go for custom, then here, you see, we can apply some padding. So 40 pixels, you see, I'm pushing it down. Well, maybe here I do want the car a little bit more to the right. Then I just keep on increasing the number of pixels from the left-hand side. 
Perfect. So now we have to look for different ways in which we can push that car down a bit more. Now the first place where I would start looking is under the formatting options for the images. Okay, now let's go there and let's open up the format and you see that the positioning is right of text. All right, but we have also the option to go for, well, below text. Okay, now you see it jumped a little bit lower, so that's good. And here we also have the size and above it we have the space between the image and, well, I have to make it a little bit wider and call out. Okay, so if we increase this to the maximum, 30, ah, you see, we push it further down. Now, this is one way we could also have made use of colored values and then, for example, activate the label. You see, this would also push it down. Yes, we do have the label, but that label we could make then transparent, just like this. So, in that way, we have even more control. So again, if this would not be enough, well, then we can also make use of values and increase the font size. You anyways don't see uh, the label or the value if you make it 100% transparent. Okay, so this goes in the right direction. Now over here, it can put this to zero, the space between the image and the callout value, because this looks actually pretty good. Now, then I resize it a little bit further so that also the back of the car uh, is a bit out uh, of, the, of the card itself. And now I think it looks perfect. Now let's switch between the different car models. This one also looks good and this one over here looks also good. Perfect. So then the next step is to have a more elegant way to switch between the different car models, meaning we have to adjust the slicer over here. Now I don't want to show the name of the car models, instead I just want to have little circles. Now to change what shows on each separate tile, we can go here to call out values and turn the values off and instead we make use of the labels. And then here we can have a custom field. Now I already created a measure so let's go here slice a label and you see I just return the unicharacter circle. All right and that's the one that I'm going to use for the call out value and then here label. All right. So let's take that measure, slice the label. Then under the default state, I want it to be gray. So let's go for a little bit lighter gray. And then here for the selected state, let's go for some green color like this. All right, then I wanna get rid of these boxes. And so let's go here to the buttons. Let's get rid of the fill color, the border color. And then here from size and style, we can also turn off the background color. And then we can simply make it smaller, 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 smaller. All right. And let's also make it less high. Now, if you want to make it even smaller, then we can first play around with the padding. And so over here, put it to custom and get rid of all of the padding here, as well as the padding that you find under size and style, because there we also have a bit of padding. So also that one, I put the zero and then we can make it even smaller. Once you have that, then we can put it above the card visual. All right. And this is now working perfectly. So you see, this looks a little bit more elegant. Yes, we don't see anymore uh, what the next card is, but for the look and feel, this is much nicer. All right, now, what about that white background that we have there for the card? Well, that white background we can get rid of. If we go back to the card, then go to cards, you see background is turned on, which is okay, uh, because we have over here 100% transparency. Now let's put it down again so that you can see. All right, but there is also a background color for the overall card under size and style. And that one also needs to be turned off. And that's it. Now we have our card visual with an image that is a little bit coming out of the card. And this is how you can do it, by playing around with the background, the image positioning, and the positioning of the text. Now, if you want to level this up even further, then you can also make it flippable, like this over here, where we can have an arrow showing on the right or the left to flip to the other side and show more information about the card and have that car image coming out even more so that it looks as if it comes to the front, or you could have another image from the back of the car and so that it turns around. And so you can be very creative here. Now, you see, now we have the combination of switching between different car models and flipping the card from the back to the front and the other way around. Now, adding that flip functionality, I think makes this card even more amazing. Now, if you wanna learn how to do that, check out this video over here. 
Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this card visual and how to work with images in your cards. If you have any tips and tricks, share them in the comment section below. And if you want to build reports together with me from beginning to end, learn all of my design processes, tips and tricks, then check out my upcoming design transformation program in Power BI. I hope to see you there. And if not, well, then hope to see you in the next video.